And this is a new episode. We got Jim. Uh, we got my man Milk Seven Four from California on the channel, man. So this is an episode of Jim Talk. It's really an interview with Milk Seven Four. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some game from him because he popping in the YouTube game right now. And then we also gonna go through some topics because if you're not familiar with his channel, bro, he be touching on all of the topics that nobody else wanna talk about. So without further ado, Milk Seven Four, let's get to it, man. Tell us uh, about yourself, man. Oh. Uh I'm Milk. <laughs> um, I'm from LA, and I'm a YouTuber. You um, YouTuber. I don't know. How long you yeah. been on YouTube? Like, uh, maybe like four years, probably right now. About four years. Like four. Yeah, like four years. I, I really started right before the pandemic. Right before the pandemic. How long it took you to pop off? Um. It depends what popping off is. Like it, it depends what what the popping off part is. I mean, to to start getting the traction. Um, man, I started. I, I first uploaded. I think it was like maybe, hmm, I think June of twenty nineteen. June of twenty nineteen. Yeah, by like January uh twenty twenty, it was already. I had already been monetized way. I I about six months in, I was already probably at like fifteen thousand subscribers, Damn, you fully mad. monetized, and and getting a no jumper interview. Right, right, right. I saw you on a no jumper, but I ain't see you. I ain't watched that interview till after I already knew who you was, and I peeped like, oh, he got a no no jumper interview. But um, yeah, so yeah. How long it took you to start paying your bills off YouTube? That's what I call. That's what I call. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Popping on YouTube. I ain't gonna lie. Um, when I first started off, I really was, um, I I was kind of ignorant to the whole YouTube, um, the way it worked, everything about it. So, man, the first three or four months, bro, I was getting videos, twenty, thirty thousand views, <laughs> and earning like twenty, thirty cent, forty cent, fifty cent, bro. Well, like, was I was more. like, yeah, and yeah, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, like, I be dealing with that. I, I didn't know the ways to 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 get around it or to appeal it or um I didn't know none of that so you know I was like but I don't care because that because when I first started I wasn't really doing it for the money right because I was already working yeah like I seen I kind of had seen the plan I, I kind of don't get me wrong like when I first even considered it it well I was like oh you can get money from this but yeah. when I first started it wasn't for the money because I was already working a full time job so. Getting good money, well, not like great money, but I was getting Enough decent. To pay your uh, bills, survive and, and be chilling, like, and still look kind of yeah, like I, right. I was doing good, but um, maybe, maybe like a year, maybe like a year in, I say like yeah, a year in some months, I was comfortable enough to where I was like, bro, what am I doing at work? Yeah, it don't I'm, make no sense. I, I'm, I'm getting this, I'm getting the same thing right now that they giving me at, at the job, so it's like. If I just don't come here and do mo, then I make mo. So, bro, it was just I'm going to these jobs and um, cause at this time I, when when I started YouTube, I was at this job for maybe almost two years before that uh pandemic hit. When that pandemic hit, they closed the um hotel down, so I was getting um EDD for for like mm. I don't know how long that shit lasted, but it lasted a while. It, it was good money too, just oh, to sit down. So. Nah, that definitely that gives you incentive. I'm already making, right? I'm getting paid regardless. Might as well sit down yeah. and get this other money. <laughs> yeah, so so I was um Yeah, so so that kind of helped me low key. It it, it, it kind of gave me more time to just do videos the pandemic, but uh probably like a year and some months into it i was like yeah like bro what am i doing at work i'm going to work taking 16 smoke breaks within the first hour like yeah. i'm just like i'm leaving walking all the way around Listen, like bro, I, I just want them to let bro. me go i'm already i want them to let me go because i never got fired from none of these jobs like I, the only time i would leave jobs is when i first started and i find something closer to my uh, house and it'll pay more or it'll pay 50 cent less but it was like way closer it was like uh, so it makes sense that, to commute yeah because every job when i first started working i had to take a train and a bus it was like a two hour there two hour um 
Two that hours type of shit. That's, that's a lot of travel time. Yeah, but I was doing it so like, uh, yeah, I would be quitting these jobs. But when they got down to that, I'm like, shit, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like a, uh, uh, maybe like a year, a year and some months in it. Once I figured out everything and how to uh, work around the limited shit, and um, yeah, I was kind of like picking up dust, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I started seeing like, oh shit, like this is crazy, like. But the first check I got, it was still amazing because the it, it was just like, damn, I got a check for uploading some video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I is know. wild, bro. I go to work and really bust my ass right. for the check. And I just got the check to do this low key. It was right. I'm doing this and, after work. I'm coming home and using my little free time after work to do this. And then I feel you. I, I definitely feel you. Yeah. I, I would come home. I would I would work, bro. Boom. Get off. Go take a shower. Probably uh uh maybe eat like a little snack or something. Rolled me like three or four blunts and then take a, I had a pillow wrapped up in a, in a shirt and I had like taped it. So it was kind of like it looked like a pillow low key. And I put it under my arm because yeah. at that time I wasn't smoking in the house. I could. My girl was not going for that. But um, uh, I couldn't live so like I was, that. I ain't going to lie. I got so I, smoke, man. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was crazy. But uh, it wasn't nothing. But so I, I would go outside and um. I would go behind my place and it was like this little area that I could sit in low key across the street, but it was still like where you can see me outside, but it was, I would just go out there every day and sit, sit right there in the corner and, um, just do the video. Just record start doing videos. videos. Right. And huh? recording, recording right from the phone too. Yeah. And I had a bullshit phone too. Like when I first started recording, um, cause before that I wasn't real big in the phones. Yeah. Like I, I never, I never was talking on the phone. I just wasn't never into that. I was never trying to be one of them people that didn't say something on the phone or something. So I've you, you never wasn't been type, on the phone. You wasn't the type to be on the phone with your shorty for hours and shit? <laughs> nah, yeah. Hell no. I ain't never. I wasn't doing that when I was a kid. Yeah, I, was doing, <laughs> I, I was never doing that. Now, I think when uh, I was younger, I did be on the phone a lot. But once you get past a certain age, all that air time, it'd be like, bro, come see me in person. <laughs> yeah, nah. But I live with mine, though, so... But I still had like a, I had a phone, but the one I started doing YouTube off of was like some bullshit ass. Uh, not not the best camera, clearly. Bro, it was horrible. It was like one of them phones that your grandma get from Life of Line or oh, yeah, or yeah, yeah, not good quality at all. It was like a it was like a little bullshit phone, but I I, I was recording off that shit for the first. I ran up a bag on that phone. I believe off you, of, bro. off I believe. of YouTube. I did. I, I ran up a bag and then I went and uh, bought a better phone. <laughs> but yeah, that I mean, yeah, bro, I was getting off work from, and I was a dishwasher and then a dishwasher supervisor at the ending of this of this job um, was before the pandemic. Good, it ain't really about what you yeah. bring, what you bring home. You was bringing nah, you know, nah, we, enough to fill you know what I mean? You was like, I'm paying my bills, I got a couple of dollars to put up. I could bro, the dishwashers in California, the dishwashers in California be getting paid more than some CNA nurses, uh some some teachers, depending on where they teach. Yeah, hell yeah, especially if you at like a hotel. I was I, at a hotel. I definitely roll my sleeves up and get the washing if it's gonna pay me it, like it's, it's not no it's not no eight dollars an hour, it's not no nine dollars. When I first started that job, the the first pay was fifteen sixty five. And then like six months it went up to like sixteen ten. Like, that's and then once good. I got that's good. and then once I got promoted to the little dishwasher uh supervisor, it was it went up like to I think it was 17, maybe like 60 something. So it yeah. was cool. Like so it, it was to, cool. to 20 cash an hour. And all you got to do is sit there, wash dishes, do your job, go home. You ain't got to have all this extraness to the job. I, I, yeah, yeah. And at the end, I didn't have to do nothing. I just, I, I, I just really had to put up the produce in the morning. Like all the produce. I had to be there at six in the morning. All the produce and, and stuff that come, like all the milk or whatever, all the, 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 the groceries and shit, the produce come out. We'll have to go pick that stuff up. And, uh, and then make sure they doing their little jobs at the end. But but that shit was cool. And I was getting hella hours. Hella hours. Like I was doing like on a slow week, maybe like fifty something hours a week. Oh, yeah. So you was getting it in. You was getting it in. Yeah. You was trying to make that add up. I feel you. Yeah.